Okay. So today is uh, July t- July thirteenth. Jeez. Um. My birthday is July eighteenth, but in two days, so Saturday on the fifteenth, I'm having a cookout, and this year for my birthday, I want to be a redhead. So I'm about to get up, get ready, and head to Sally's to get all the things that I need to just burn my hair off. So we're gonna make it a little vloggy vlog. Come on. Okay, don't hate me, but I forgot to record me going to the store. <laughs> Um, yeah, so what had happened was every single time I get in my car, I'm on the phone with somebody, so I'd be forgetting to. And I have two phones, it's super stupid. I could record the whole process, but I forgot. And now I'm back at home, I just started cleaning, but I'm gonna show you what I got. And yeah, so this is the bag. So I got obviously protein treatments for after i dye my hair because they be saying that's what you need to do that's what tiktok taught me so i got two of these because i think i'm gonna need two um i got 30 volume developer the lady in the store was trying to talk me into getting 20 and i let her which is why i have two receipts and then i thought about it and i was like no and then i also read the box and the box says 30 to 40 so i got two of each color so two red two magenta two magenta a brush and a little thingy although i doubt i'm going to use it because after a certain point i just be using my hands and then i got a little whisk thingy because the last time i tried to dye my hair the dye was so clumpy um like i was trying to mix it so i got a little here, a little dye whisk. So that was all that I got. I'm gonna show you what I spent. I spent $71.37. And that is the price of everything. Um, most expensive thing was the dye. It was $9.99 a box. So I plan on dyeing my hair tonight. So I have an appointment at 5 30. Well, I'm going to lunch. I want to get it. And then I have an appointment at five and I'm going to hopefully, hopefully, hopefully do it after my appointment tonight because I need to diet. Realistically, today is the last day I can dye my hair because I need to diet tonight. My cookout was on Saturday, so I'm trying to give myself like a little wiggle room, like just in case I don't like it or like I can figure something out. But I believe in my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and I feel like God ain't going to play me like that. So... Yeah, I'll come back when I'm dying my hair. I also forgot to say, um, tomorrow I'm getting my lashes done. I'm getting my lashes and my wax tomorrow. And I'm going to try to get my eyebrows in because, girl, you see these? Uh-uh. Um, yeah, so that's tomorrow. And then I'm doing my own hair. So we'll see. This is all going to come together. I have faith in myself. And I know God ain't going to play with me. It's my birthday. Like, uh-uh. Okay, so the time is 10 o'clock p.m. I'm in my bathroom. Um, I am about to mix the dyes, um, section my hair off, and start this process. I'm trying to be done by midnight because I'm tired, and I got therapy tomorrow, so we're going to see. So I'm starting with the magenta and the red well yeah magenta and the red don't mind my kitchen scissors i couldn't find another one um we're doing 30 volume um and i got my little mixer and then um yeah so i'm gonna um i'm gonna mix and then section my hair and then i'll be back this pimple got to go that's to go. But I had to put my hair dye shirt on. This is the, the shirt that I used to have my hair the last time. So we're gonna get this popping. Period. 
Okay, mixture is mixed. Say they said this supposed to be like a toothpaste consistency, so I feel like that's kind of pasty. Um, that got everything. I got my hair section. This is one of my first little section. One, I got four. So one, two, three, four, and yeah. So what I'm gonna do probably is. Uh, record myself like putting it on a little bit and then I'll come back when my whole head is done and then I'll process she said not to do no longer than 45 minutes so that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing because I wanted to be bright bright and then when I rinse it out and I'm gonna come back I am terrified like I just got off the phone with my best friend and I was telling her to like say a prayer for me please because if my hair don't turn out right for my birthday I'm gonna cry guys so I got my gloves because gotta protect your hands. I was watching like videos on TikTok and YouTube and the girlies were saying that they were getting um, like chemical burns because they were just like taking a color and just like breaking it through with their hands, which I think is insane. But so Lady I Sally's told me to do like my med shafts so, like here to here and then do my roots and then do my uh whatchamacallit? my ends last actually she told me that which i thought was interesting because i feel like people do the opposite but okay guys we're doing it we're doing it ah! okay well i didn't already started applying it so i feel like i see why people just be taking the color and breaking it through because that's what i'm gonna do like and this was just the first little sweep and i think once i get to like um my roots and stuff I might do a little bit better but like yeah this is easier so she told me to leave my ends alone um and just break it through make sure it's really saturated in my hair like hurry up she said try to hurry up and do it um make sure like the product is on there this I used high color the last time I dyed my hair and I feel like this I don't remember the smell, <laughs> but this is terrible. Um, so yeah, going that, I'm trying to leave my ends alone and I'm failing miserably. It's actually kind of hard to do, so it is what it is, but nonetheless, we digress. Um, I had said before, like, I mixed two colors, um, red and magenta were the two colors that I decided to mix, so I'm going to do that. To like, you know, make sure everything is saturated. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. It's one there now. There's no turning back. I mean, realistically, if I wanted to, I could rinse it out and keep it fucking pushing, but I'm not doing that. So, um, the last time I dyed my hair, like, there's even still color on my in my bathroom, like on the walls and stuff, because I was wow, like. So, Keep it moving. And break that through. Make sure it's nice and saturated. Um, every time I'm going through something, I dye my hair. But I think I'm using my birthday as an excuse this time. Because why not?
So what I've done, and I found this a little to be a little bit easier to get the uh, color out. I've been cutting like the end of it and uh, just squeezing it into the bowl. Like open it up and then just squeezing in there. Of course, I got that everywhere on my wrist and stuff, but I'm not really worried about that. Got my little whisk, and we're just gonna mix it together. And so, what I was doing the first time I mixed the dye, I did like piece by piece um, with the which one call it developer because I wanted to make sure I wasn't using too much developer. I don't want it to be like too thin so with this I'm gonna like touch up this is probably just going like I'm not gonna hold you it's probably gonna look mad crazy but I'm probably just gonna take this shit and like blob it on my head and make sure everything is everywhere um and yeah that's a little bit too thick so I'm gonna add a little bit more developer a little bit more mix this up and I think I should be good after this um the box says to like measure it out but ain't nobody got time for that so just like in the kitchen you just pour until your ancestors say stop okay and this is like a really good consistency it's like a pasty consistency I don't know if it's a good consistency or if my hand is just getting tired and I'm ready to be done. <sighs> no, that kind of is like what I had before. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to unclip this and I'm going to just go through and make sure that everything is saturated. Everything is, you know, what it needs to be. Probably going to step out of frame for a hot second. Everything is saturated. Everything is what it needs to be. Um, making sure like all the little pieces in my hair are saturated um i don't know how many times i'm going to say saturated but saturated 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 uh, making sure everything has a good coating on it and then the very 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 last thing that i'm going to do is my my uh, edges so i'm going to just do that I have already found some spots. We're just we're just going and having at it because we're gonna make sure this is nice and even, nice, nice and coated how we need it to be. Because 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 So I'm not sure where my other phone left off at. I know at some point it cut off. So I am processing. I am hoping and praying that I got every inch of my hair because Miss Spots is going oh excuse me, drive me crazy. Um so I'm gonna watch some TV for the next 25-ish minutes. And then I'm going to rinse this out, see where we're at. I mean, I'm definitely going to uh, be back and show, you know, what's going on. But, yeah, so that's where we're at. I'm sitting on the couch, I'm not touching anything. Have a for every smell of ice, I got real loud. Um, yeah, I'm sitting there, I'm not touching anything. 
I'm going to check it. I, I, set in a I set a timer for 25 minutes. I'm going to check it in 25 and see if it's like getting to the car that I want it to be. And if not, I'm going to leave it on for another 20 minutes. Because she said 45 at the max. So. It's getting a little hot. It's not burning. It's just a little uncomfortable right now. But it's been on for about 10 minutes, I think. So we'll see. I'll be back. So it's been 25 minutes. I'm about to take this shower cap off and um, see what my hair is looking like. Just by looking at it, I can tell that the roots are lighter than my the rest of my hair. So I'm probably gonna have to process for a little bit longer. But we'll see. So, yeah. Um, definitely that. I don't know if my hair is just not uh, saturated enough, but this is like the red that I want. And then this back here is not. So, put some more dye on it. this on all right y'all wait i don't know i don't know what to do because like obviously my my root i mean my end well my roots are like super light and i feel like my hair is not super light like i feel like i want to leave it on for a little bit longer but it has been processing for like 45 minutes in a box set that that is the max I think I'm gonna wash it out and we'll see how this looks. Hopefully it doesn't look crazy, but we'll see. Woo! All right, so boom, this is where we're at. Um, if I could be completely honest with you, well, I feel like they say it's a little bit darker. It looks a little bit darker when your hair is wet. And I hope that's the case because I really wanted it to be way brighter than this. Um, but it's red. I mean, it's pretty even. I thought my roots were hot, and they're really not. I got a pretty even color. Um, I'm about to put this protein treatment in um, so that my hair doesn't fall off. My curls are still intact, which was something I was kind of worried about. Um, but yeah, we're going to see. We're going to keep it. This ain't, this ain't it. I'm in the shower currently waiting for... Um, I put in, so I did the, the Afro G protein treatment. I let that sit for like 20, uh, 25 minutes. Uh, I also plucked my eyebrows while I was waiting. I'm absolutely in the shower with gloves on because I didn't want my nails to turn red. Um, and I'm starting to see that this, that was my timer. Um, so this, I, the Afro G like, Protein treatment says to put the balancing moisturizer in right after. So I was waiting two minutes so I can rinse it out. And then I'm gonna wash up and I'm getting out. And I'm trying to just, well, I don't think I'm gonna do a deep condition because I think that might be too much. So I'm gonna blow dry my hair tonight um, and then I'll straighten it tomorrow. Um, but this is my last pair of gloves. So after this, this is all I can do. So I'm gonna blow dry it and then I'm gonna lose it. But yeah, we wanna see what it looks like once it's blow dry. Hopefully, you know, it's a little bit more to my liking. I don't hate it right now, but like, kinda just wishing it was a little bit brighter, but we'll see. Okay, so this is a uh, wash, blow dry, I did the protein treatment, the moisturizer, all that stuff. Um, 
is what it's looking like. Uh, trying to, I don't know if you can tell, but I got a pretty even dye, um, you know, through and through. My roots were not hot, which was greatly appreciated because, you know, I didn't want to do that. Um, my curls were still intact. I, I, like the clip that I had before, my curls were still intact. This is all the shedding that I had, um, which is a new thing for me. I feel like my hair sheds a lot. Um, I had like maybe like a fraction of this, like when I rinsed out the, uh, when I rinsed out the moisturizer or the protein treatment, I had a little bit more, but like all in all, like this is it. And I'm happy with it. Um, I think it's gonna take a second to grow on me. I was just telling my friend um, Isis that I'm scared to go to sleep because my sheets are white. So I'm definitely about to double bonded this up. And I just put some like, I don't know if you guys know, but like the Moroccan like hair oil is supposed to help with straightening because I'm gonna flat iron it, but my hair is really dry even after the protein treatment. So um, I put some of that on there to like give it some moisture because like on the ends it feels really dry and on my edges and stuff but for the most part like I'm pretty happy I'm a redhead now um I'll insert a clip tomorrow after I straighten it so you can see what that looks like but for the most part this is it this is all it's gonna be for my actual birthday I'm gonna do some updos I was playing around with that like my hair looks cute up it's gonna be a vibe I'm excited I'm about to do some, uh, I guess a couple appointments and then I'm going home and I'll straighten my hair there. All right, so boom, y'all. This is my hair. It's flat ironed. Boom. It looks pretty good. Nice and flowy. Not stiff. Um, it is 1 16 in the morning we don't sleep over here um but yeah so i just got done doing that i'm about to just wrap it back up and lay down and go to sleep and then tomorrow is my birthday cocoa so it's gonna be fun no, i'm excited and tuesday's my birthday so yeah lashes done hair done for now and yeah good night i will see y'all tomorrow oh, and you know, another